Well, I mean, gold's been going up, hasn't gone up that much recently, but if you go back to the beginning of this uh, decade or century rather, uh, 2000, that's when the NASDAQ bubble peaked. That's when the gold price was really at the bottom of a 20 year bear market that it entered into in 1980. And remember in 1980, gold was very expensive. It was at $850 an ounce. It had risen from $35 an ounce at the beginning of the decade to 850 at the end. Uh, then of course, you know, we had Paul Volcker, Ronald Reagan, we had 20% interest rates and that saved the dollar that brought the price of gold back down. Of course, it never went anywhere near the $35 an ounce that it started from, uh, but it did get back below 300. It was below 300 as a matter of fact in 2000. And then it had a big rise from 2000 to almost, I mean, from under 300 to over 2000 uh, was the run that it's been on recently. It's now pulled back, you know, below 1800. But if you look at what's been happening to the price of gold so far this, uh, you know, this century, uh, this millennium even, it's been pretty strong. Now, you know, people, maybe they expect uh, gold to act like Bitcoin. It's not gonna act like Bitcoin. It's a real asset uh, and it's a real market and it's not going to have that kind of parabolic move, unless of course you have a complete implosion of the dollar, which is certainly not off the table as far as what may happen in the future. But if that's the case, it's really not the price of gold going up. It's just the value of the dollar going down. And so you need more and more dollars to buy an ounce of gold. Uh, but I do think that the price of gold is going to resume the upward trend and move much higher than 2000 as people really digest the enormity of the problem that exists as they come to terms with the fact that inflation is not only not transitory, it's here to stay, it's gonna get much worse, and the Fed can't do anything about it, at least not that they're willing to do without creating another financial crisis, which they won't do. And even if they inadvertently created a financial crisis, we already know what their response would be, would be more inflation. They would print more money, they would bail everybody out. And so ultimately, you know, kind of that's gonna be positive for gold as well. So people just have to be patient when it comes to the price of gold, but the direction is already clear and that's, and that's up and it's been going up for some time.